former U.S. Senator, Republican gubernatorial hopeful or candidate Kelly Ayotte joining us. Good morning, New Hampshire. The Pulse of an H out of the gate this morning. Good morning. How are you, Senator? Hey, good morning, Jack. I guess it's been a little bit. You know, I think you have a you know you got a, a not you got an endorsement today, and it's not necessarily from a political candidate or a former someone. It's actually from a group of folks, uh, some hardworking folks. Yeah, I'm thrilled to get this endorsement from the New Hampshire Commercial Fishermen. Uh, they are such hardworking people, as you know, living in the seacoast, Jack. Fishing is really important to our seacoast, and they work really hard. They're an important part of our economy and just great people. And I had the chance to work with them when I was a senator. Unfortunately, there were a lot of federal regulations that came down that tried to really hurt their industry. And so I was proud to stand by them and fight those and work with them. And that's how I got to know them. So, well, have, have any improvements been made? Some of the quotas, some of the things that are laid upon a commercial fisherman, it's tough enough, the profit margin, it's like a farmer, very hard to be in business. Has anything improved in their challenges other than Mother Nature trying to catch their lot? Yeah, they still have many challenges. And because the federal government, NOAA, they really put those quotas on them that have been very tough. And They're so resilient, though. They work so hard. And as you know, having that uh, commercial fishing industry in New Hampshire, it's like it's iconic. It's part of who we are in the seacoast. So, uh, yeah, it's still tough for them, but they are really tough and they're wonderful people. Uh, Just honored to have their endorsement. And obviously, as governor, I'll make sure that New Hampshire is very friendly to the fishermen. We've got uh, just it's such a part of our state. Kelly, a gubernatorial candidate, Republican just had Chuck Morris on recently. And on the Democrat side, I want to ask you this. As you know, President Biden was in New Hampshire Tuesday afternoon and leading up to that for a preview of the Biden trip here. First time in two years, by the way. Thank you for writing me in was one of his remarks. Um, Senator Shaheen was on the show last at the end of last uh, week previewing the trip. But Tuesday morning, I want to ask you this question. Donna Susi, a leading state senator, Democrat from Manchester, the state's largest city, former Senate president, asked her one question and what the president would be talking about. He's talking about health care, Bidenomics, you know, the economy. And I said, Senator, what, what do you think come this next, this November coming up? I think it's going to be decided by independent voters. I think Biden was here because they know how close this general election is going to be with Trump, which is now officially underway as of today, if you will. And New Hampshire could matter with the four electoral, electoral, electoral college votes. And I said, Senator, what do you believe in November, in New Hampshire, with independent voters as well as Republican Democrats, but independents, what are the two top issues? And she said the economy, you know, kitchen table uh, type economics, and abortion rights. Did not mention the border or immigration. And I asked her why that was, and does she think Republicans are making it more of an issue than it is with voters? Let me ask you, what are the two top issues as you run for governor? Uh, they are immigration and the economy. Um, you know, inflation's hitting everyone hard, as you know, and things cost more. Interest rates, it's a real issue here in New Hampshire and throughout the country. But immigration, Jack, I hear so much about immigration. As you think about uh, our own state and you look at what's happening over our southern border in Massachusetts, where the governor has had to declare a state of emergency because of the influx of illegal immigration. Literally, they are housing illegal immigrants at Logan at youth sports facilities, and we don't want to bring that here in New Hampshire. And I think the Democrats don't want to talk about it. Neither candidate for governor will talk about it, either Craig or Warmington, because they support sanctuary policies. Those sanctuary policies are not good because they cause situations like what happened in Georgia with Lake and Riley. I mean, to not that poor uh, young woman who was murdered, we have to be able to be a state that is not a sanctuary state, doesn't give, uh, for example, driver's license to illegal immigrants uh, like some other states. <laughs> and to me, this is a core issue, but they're not going to talk about it because their answers aren't good. And I don't think they're aligned with the people of New Hampshire. Kelly, uh, you mentioned Lake and Riley. The president, when the State of the Union brought it up, brought up her name. And I've talked extensively on the show about this particular crime because I think, uh, sadly, there, there are other murders in attacks on women and children happening almost every day it's sad but this one really caught the eye of many people and i think it should have i think it should have for a lot of reasons but the president correctly in the state of the union referred to her alleged murderer who basically broke into the country through el paso texas a year ago from venezuela and has a criminal background and illegal and illegal a few times 
And then since then, he's dialed it back, saying he's sorry he used that term, and, and the alleged murder was, he should have used the term undocumented. Why, what's wrong with calling an illegal migrant who allegedly murders a dean's list nursing student an illegal? Uh, there's nothing wrong with it, Jack. In fact, that is what he was. And in fact, this happened yesterday in Concord, Jack, where Senator Bill Ganley was talking about a bill that he had to make sure that illegal immigrants couldn't get a uh, driver's license here in New Hampshire because some states issue them and he didn't want New Hampshire to recognize those licenses. So common sense, I fully support Senator Ganley on that and Gannon on that. And I got to tell you, um, one of the, the Democrat senators said, corrected him and said, you can't call uh, the, them illegal aliens. You have to call them undocumented ing- immigrants. Uh, so I, I don't understand. Uh, this is a violation of our law. It's illegal and they're aliens. They're not supposed to be here or illegal immigrants are really not supposed to be here. So I don't understand this sort of nomenclature. Mm-hmm. And let me just say, you know, Lake and Riley, so tragic and so preventable. And what we see is Venezuela, you know, there's been reports that Venezuela is essentially releasing prisoners mm-hmm. um, and mm-hmm. allowing them to come to our border, like releasing them from their prison. Mm-hmm. So uh, this is one of the issues that we're facing with, you know, President Biden just not enforcing our laws and allowing the disaster that we see at our southern border. And also we having this issue at our northern border, unfortunately, too. You know, when, when I asked Senator Susi, just the big issues and abortion rights was there. And, and you know, President Biden in New Hampshire on Tuesday, part of what he talked about, and you heard it in the State of the Union. So you already know, going into this gubernatorial election, should you be the nominee? I mean, you and Chuck Morris, the main Republicans, there's other people running, and of course, Cindy Warmoth and George Gregg. You know it, you've seen it. There'll be millions, tens of millions of dollars in the governor's race, in my prediction in New Hampshire, on abortion right ads, and any Republican running, doesn't matter who they are, in my humble opinion, the ad's going to say that you favor an abortion ban how are you going to pre? How are you going to respond with all that money spent on that issue? Not on immigration, not on the border, maybe not on inflation, abortion rights, AR backs, you know, the synonym abortion ban. How do you respond? Yeah, Jack, they have been misrepresenting this issue, and it's actually a dangerous misrepresentation because we don't have an abortion ban here in New Hampshire. I support the current law. That was the the law that Governor Sununu signed mm-hmm. uh, into law in New Hampshire, and that allows women in New Hampshire. To obtain an abortion up to six months of pregnancy for any reason and in the last three months they can still obtain an abortion if god forbid they suffer from a medical emergency or their baby suffers from a fatal fetal anomaly and so they are misrepresenting what our law is they're misrepresenting the position of republicans and so i i plan to tell the truth mm-hmm. in this election and i think it's important that we do that because they're they're trying to scare women and you know, I think it's important that we make sure that women understand we support women's health, um, that I support the current law and I'm not going to change it. Right. So they can say lots of things to misrepresent my position or other Republicans position. But it's important that we tell the people of this state what is the law and what their rights are. Finally, Donald Trump, Joe Biden. Here we go again round two, pretty much clinching mm-hmm. the nominations for each major party today. Uh, Yesterday, actually. So here we go. No big surprise, by the way. It's amazing, but it's no big surprise. You came out recently and endorsed Donald Trump. And your challenger, your main challenger, I believe, on the Republican side, Chuck Morris, did it back during the New Hampshire presidential primary. Do you believe Donald Trump's going to be successful? And can he win a general election against Joe Biden with independent voters? Uh, Yes, I do. Because um, these issues that are out there, if you look at where we are, uh, things are less affordable. They cost more uh, than he, when he was in office. You know, the border is a mess. Um, p- people feel less safer because of that. And so people are just going to compare where were we and where are we now? Mm-hmm. Um, so I think that is a big comparison. And, you know, obviously uh, the choices come down in this election. But also I want to bring it back to the governor's race. There's an important choice in this race in the governor's race because both of the women that are running on the Democratic end they're going to make our state like Massachusetts. And we can't have that. We are a very special state. Um, we have an economic advantage. We have a freedom advantage. And that's why I'm running for governor, to fight for that advantage. To me, it's so important that we fight um, to keep this state the special state that it is and not let it go like our neighbors. 
Thanks for the time. Kelly Ayotte, gubernatorial candidate Republican here in the Grand State. Thank you.